Where's my fingers? Okay, good. Make a fist. Well, don't point that thing at me, man. You're out of control. Can't you sedate him or something? <laughs> I don't think it's broken, Romeo. You should be fine. But uh, probably be a good idea to get some ice on that. So why don't you get some for him, please? He wilds out like a rapper in an award show and I'm meant to look after him. Look, keep the ice on for about half hour. That should help. I thought you were a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> I think it's time for me to leave. Yeah, I am. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever hit anyone. But after what Mum went through, I, I made a decision to never let a man put his hands on a woman like that again. You know, I shouldn't admit this, but I kind of liked it. Yeah, well, hopefully I won't have to happen again. <laughs> No, a lot of couples actually made it weddings. <laughs> I wonder if your hero is here already. Who knows? You might have already found him. <laughs> you know what I think I have? You're kidding, that's wonderful. Yeah, he's been under my nose the whole time. Yeah, it's early days yet, but I think I've found exactly what I'm looking for. Sorry to do this, Ian. Just get on with it. Alf Stewart, you are under arrest for the murder of Penn Graham. Hands up front, please. You do not have to say or do anything unless you want to, but anything you say or do will be recorded and may be used as evidence. supposed to give you some sense of closure then i'm not feeling it i don't think it's supposed to happen that quickly rubes yeah, but i'm scared i might never feel it i might feel this sick forever i got you some sandwiches i'm not hungry okay i understand this situation's hard on everyone but i think it would be nice if we didn't let it intrude on the day sorry sergeant buckman so sorry Dal. if we could just focus on dad oh, i can't listen to this maybe wait Talk to me, what is it? We were all about focusing on Dad now that he's dead. What about when he was alive? Why didn't it matter then? I don't know what you mean. Why didn't you let me visit him, Charlie? I'll never forgive you for that. Ruby, please, that isn't fair. Now just leave me alone. If you want to be alone, just tell me. I won't be offended. You guys have been so great through all this. Hey, you've been good to us. Helping Romeo through his HSC and everything. I don't think he'd be so cool about it if it wasn't for you. Still, I feel bad that I'm off to uni and he's stuck repeating it well. Why do you feel bad? You're not the one who threw your exams. No. I think he got the better end of the deal, though. He gets to hang out with you next year and I'm stuck all on my lonesome. Yeah, I don't know. I think he's probably hating the idea of being stuck with me for a year. No, he couldn't be happier. What's wrong? Nothing. It's silly. It's just, it's such a big change. I, I hope me and Romeo can get through it. We will. Anyway, I shouldn't be worrying about this on a day like today. No, no, it's good. I've been happy for the distraction. Well, I wish I could keep distracting you, but I've actually got to go to work. Um, <laughs> do you want to come hang out with me at the diner? No. Thank you. <laughs> well, if you change your mind, let me know. You know where I am. Yeah. Okay. His previous... chocolate she really didn't have to send you down with those she didn't it was my idea 
what you could do with the company. Thanks, but I'm okay. It's just... Ross was the closest thing I ever had to a father. And I really miss him. Hold yourself it's okay. away from me. You're allowed to. That's what today's all about. I need to be alone. As this Huge. There's no chance I'm fighting my way around it. Yeah, you don't have to. That's what cute second years are for. I do have a boyfriend, remember? <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you're looking for someone with excellent navigational skills, I'd be happy to offer my services for a small fee, of course. Yeah, because that wouldn't be weird having my freaky little brother hanging around. Hey, I thought you were at the uni open day today. Yeah, I am. I'm just waiting for Nick. Oh. Hey, um. I don't suppose any of you know someone in year 8 or 9 who could buddy up with VJ when school goes back. I'm feeling like he could use a little help with Justin. How about a year 12 kid? Would that help? Before you say yes, ask how much. I would be happy to show him the ropes. And being a target myself means I know exactly what not to do in those crucial first days. Well, that, that'd be great, yeah, as long as, you know, there's not too much trouble. Well, why don't you go over and say hi, and I'll bring over a plate of banana pancakes as down payment. Is that all right? Definitely. Hi, brother. The scammer. <laughs> what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. What's this? Uh, uh -huh. It's not Can you stop trying to protect me? I'm a big boy. I can handle it. Why don't you come with us and check it out for next year? Thank you, but I think I've inflicted enough pain upon myself. Fine, then we resort to plan B. Hang out with Ruby today and take your mind off what you're missing. Not that you're missing anything. Mm. Uh, yeah, why not? We were just saying how it's about time we started having some fun, weren't we, Zave? Yeah, yeah, sure. We're in. You really know how to throw a party, don't you? Invite the guests and then get them to do all the work for you. Oh, yeah, I'm working. I'm providing musical entertainment. So you haven't heard... What's going on? Yeah, he's been dating Miss Scott's little sister, but she moved to Europe. Really? I think maybe I should go see if he's all right. How those two? <laughs> yep, my plan worked. Amazing. Less than 12 hours ago, the guy could barely drag himself out of bed. You must be feeling pretty pleased with yourself about now. So far, so good. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I had fun. Yeah, I had a bit of fun too. Hey, you made it. Sorry. You got held up. Did you have fun? You don't even hold back. Okay, it was amazing. The courses were great and everyone was so cool and interesting. Yeah, you could have held back a little bit. Sorry. Hi. Hi. Well, here's to us all. Here's to us all. To new beginnings. Chin chin. Hey, what's with the Uber coffee? We normally sell those to night shift workers and truck drivers. Hmm. Yeah, I was up all night trying to wrap my head around algebra. How's your head this morning? It's a mess. X equals Y equals Z equals I'm so going to struggle this year. Do you know who's the algebra king? Yeah. Romeo. He thinks X equals fun, <laughs> which I think is a bit creepy, but whatever. He could, he could tutor you. Do you really think Romeo would do that? Why not? He's already done all the work for the year. It's not like he won't have the time. Yeah, but it's a massive hassle. I mean, I'm sure he has better things to do than sit here and teach me algebra. Well, I'll talk to him for you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
at least you get to keep the same locker? Yeah, just uh, one of the many perks of repeating. Mm -hmm. So when do you want to get together? A certain bossy girlfriend of mine said you needed help with maths. Yes, I have been meaning to talk to you about that. See, it was Andy's idea. I didn't really want to put you on the spot or anything. That's cool. If I have to explain it to someone, it would probably force me to concentrate. Right. Well, how about my place this afternoon at four? Uh, okay, sure. Okay. Okay. Obviously a hickey, and not just one, but like a flock of hickeys. Thank you. A flock. Yeah, whatever word you use to describe multiple hickeys, like a, a pack, <laughs> a, a gaggle, a, I, a, a herd. I, you done? I, I still think <laughs> there could be some other explanation. What, she bit herself shaving? What are you guys talking about? Uh, Robin Kerno. She uh, turned up today looking like she'd gone a couple of rounds to the vampire. Who's Robin Kerno? Oh, just this new girl. But she's wearing this scarf. It was hilarious. She looked like Wes Wallet. She did. Uh, I, uh, I better get back to work. Okay. Hey. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I didn't want anyone to see me like this. What's wrong? I was making the right decision. I was so sure that it was going to work out. Nick, what are you talking about? Marilyn was going to adopt the baby. It's a long story. I'm not going anywhere. Not great. Romeo was a no show. What, what happened? I don't know. I called him asking where he was, and I didn't get a reply until ages later, just saying something came up. But he had nothing on all day. Maybe the ways were good. Tutoring me, algebra can't be hard. His list of favourite things to do. Well, he should have at least called you. It's okay. I don't mind. Did you forget something this afternoon? I know, the study session with Rubes. She was really upset about it. Well, I'll, I'll talk to her. I apologise. You do realise what she's going through. She just feels like everyone's abandoning her. She lost her grandfather, Angelo's moved out, and Charlie's working all the time. I'll make it up to her, I promise. Well, what came up that was so important? I just had something on. Was the surf too good? Was that it? Sort of. I just... I lost track of time. Are you serious? I know it's lame. It's, I, I don't know. I've been vaguing out a bit at school, and I guess I forgot. I guess it must be hard for you to be back there again. Yeah. Forgive me. This time. Like you had a good time? Yeah, it rocked. It was great. Oh, did Romeo get a hold of you? He was uh, calling about dinner or something. Oh, yeah, five missed calls. Hey, Andy, you're back. Um, can I get a lift to your house with you? Sure. Okay, cool. Andy, are you okay? I'm fine, Dad. She's not drunk. She's just tipsy. I'm leaving town in my mind again As I see another mess of dreams Telling me to Hi! Sorry, we're late. Pretty good, I know. Do you realise we're dressing up for dinner? Yeah, I'm going to bed. Uh, you're so funny. The dog didn't seem to think so. Yeah, it's just been a grumpy mood. Okay, someone's at one too many. Is this all for me? No, this is for my other girlfriend who started uni today. Hilarious. <laughs> so are we going to eat? That was kind of the plan. Uh, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> mm. I have joined so many clubs. Chess. I'm going to be in the chess club. Do you even know how to play chess? No. <laughs> That's the point. They teach you. 
Well, they'd have to, wouldn't they? I mean, why would they have a club and they don't even tell you how to play? Well, it might be for people who already love the game to get together. <laughs> Archery. How cool does that sound? Yeah, great. And the young entrepreneurs. I mean, the guys were kind of weird, but I thought, why not? <laughs> and uh, is this from one of them or is this from a chess-playing archer? A chess and archery are two separate clubs, babe. Yeah, I kind of got that. For the record, you didn't answer the question. I don't even remember, and who cares, because none of them were as amazing as you. I mean, that water polo guy, who's seriously hot. <laughs> well, I'd be surprised if you have any time for staying with all these clubs. Mm -mm. Okay? My head hurts. Hey! Main tiramisu. Mm. Your favorite. Chase already, huh? Yeah, I'm blaming the alcohol, not my company. Whatever you need to take yourself. Do you like some dessert? Oh, sorry, I'm actually heading out. Marilyn called. She wants to talk. So much for an early night. Good luck. Hi. Oh, Rubes, I'm actually just heading out. Yeah, that's okay. I came to bore Romeo half to death about our mass assignment. Oh, well, that's not something that I can help you with anyway. <laughs> Would you like me to take her home? Uh... Thanks, but I think it might be dangerous to wake her up right now. Okay. Well, I'll see you later. See ya. I'm really sorry. I didn't realize I was interrupting something. Yeah, I'm in the middle of a romantic night with my girlfriend. Can't you tell? <laughs> I wouldn't take it personally. I'm sure she's just really tired. Do you like tiramisu? Is there anyone in the world that would answer no to that question? Well, apart from Indy, because she's unconscious. Probably not. Then count me in. Thanks for coming. Oh, that was amazing. And he has no idea what she's missing out on. You know, I used to do this all the time with Mum. I'd cook dinner, she'd get drunk and pass out. I'd end up sitting there all by myself eating dinner. You know, if you weren't here, I'd probably be pretty bored. Not to mention fat, because I definitely would have eaten both of these. <laughs> well, I know that getting drunk is just what people do when you go to uni, but it's not going to be what I concentrate on. I don't care if people think I'm boring, but I've been there. I know how quickly your life can get out of control when it revolves around getting smashed. No, oh, and he's not out of control. It's just, you know, it's one night where she's had one too many. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, she probably just got a little bit overexcited about all the people she's meeting. Yeah, especially if they're on the water polo team. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm happy for if she's making new friends. Yeah. It does suck, though, doesn't it? We're stuck at school and they're off at uni having fun. Just feels like we're the little kids and they're getting on with their lives and being grown-ups. <laughs> well, not completely grown-up. <laughs> hey, thanks for the company, but I, I should probably head to bed. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So what are you going to do with Snorri McGee? i just call her dad, let him know that she crashed on the couch. Well, I'm sure she will appreciate all the effort you went to for dinner. Well, considering she was unconscious for most of it, I doubt it. Well, I'm sure it's a one-off. My head's got to explode. I blame the nursing students. It's their fault. Everything's their fault. Number one rule. Own your own hangover. Don't be blaming anyone else. OK. I'm owning it. I'm owning it. Yeah. Thanks. All right, I asked Nicole to lend you some clothes. They're in the bathroom as well as a clean towel so you can have a shower. Look at you looking after me. How cute. Yeah, well, after last night, I wasn't sure you'd be in any state to look after yourself. Besides, it's not like I haven't done it before. I already go, so are you going to be all right by yourself? Yeah, I think I've dressed myself once or twice before. Okay. Listen, Romeo, 
I'm really sorry about last night. I didn't even drink that much. It was just, I was in the sun all day and I didn't have any water, so. I'll see you later. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, things are still really good between me and April, but I still get the feeling that she's keeping something from me. And not in a way as I'm feeling guilty way, but more in... I don't think Xavier is smart enough to understand me sort of way. <laughs> Which I get on one level, but I still don't want to be left out. <laughs> Are you even listening to me? Yeah, sorry. I am. Uh, it's just something happened last night. It's really weird. I can't stop thinking about it. Okay, so I made dinner for Indy last night, and she comes over, but she's plastered. That's not the weird part. You know what, maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, well, well, back to me in April, what should I do? Well, why don't you work on some assignment or something together? I want to, but I told her I'd do whatever she wants. Okay, well, there's your problem right there. Ever since April got back, all you've done is run after her. It's time to man up. Take matters into your own hands. Stop waiting for her to ask you to do something. Just do it. Hey, hey you're right. Thanks. <laughs> nice. Hey, um, thanks for those tips on the master assignment last night. They really helped. Sure. Yeah, I'll see you later. That'll be an ongoing fashion statement. Especially if the hangover comes along with it. I just, I really wanted to apologise for last night. I know you went to a lot of trouble. Yeah, I kind of did. Well, I, I didn't mean to mess everything up. Apology accepted. See, the thing is... I did go to a lot of effort and it's like it meant nothing to you. Romeo, I was drunk. I know. I was there. It's not exactly like I'm going to rehab or anything. Oh, don't bring Ruby into this. I didn't. Maybe we should just drop the subject altogether. On a farm, isn't there actual wildlife you could film? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, we didn't actually own any wildlife. Well, apart from the one-legged magpie Marilyn insists on feeding. So, how was the toga party? Sufficiently back an alien? Do you remember everything you did? Everyone you did it to? And what about Romeo? I heard you stayed at his place last night. Why isn't he here tending your furrowed brow? Isn't that one of his duties under the boyfriend code? I don't want to talk about this. And here we have the creature slipping back into attack mode as soon as mating rituals are mentioned, or lack thereof. This interview is over. the essence of both Mother Nature and Father Time? Uh-huh. Well, paint drawing might also be very fun to film. Please wait until you see the end product before you start criticising, Gidget. I guarantee it'll be riveting viewing. Did you really come all the way over here to slam my directing style? Or do you want me to film you doing some totally gnarly bitch and surfing moves, dude? Well, actually, I came to ask about Indy. She's usually here this time in the morning and I don't know where she is. Is everything all right? Indy's Indy. Well, I actually heard she had a fight with Romeo the other night. Do you know anything about that? No, I wouldn't know. Or do you think you could find out? Why don't you? Because I don't want them to think I'm being nosy. You are being nosy. Yeah, but they can't know that because then I can't help them. But I have to find out first what's going on. 
look, I'd really rather stay out of it. I don't have the time or patience to deal in teen angst. Okay. But I'm warning you, if she is having problems with Romeo, it means a lot of moping. Hogging the DVD player, love song dedication, staring out windows. Okay, I get it. Mood indigo. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. That's my man, but remember, Dexter, be subtle about it. Subtle's my middle name. So, I hear you fighting with my sister. What's that all about? Why do you ask? Just curious. No, concerned. I'm concerned. So, how mad are you at it on a scale of 1 to 10? Stay out of it, Dex. I'm just trying to help, man. What can she do to make it better? Flowers, an apology? She could commission Mr. Murphy to write you a song. That'd be nice. If anyone starts me a question, she should do it herself, not get her little brother to do it for her. She didn't send me. You're right. I'm serious. Ask her. No, don't ask her. There's no point in me talking to her because she's probably too busy sleeping in or going to parties or doing whatever it is that uni students do while we're at school. Okay, so this is about her being at uni and you being here stuck at school. No, that's not it at all. And if that's what she thinks, you can tell she's wrong. Indy, hey. So, uh, I was talking with Romeo this morning, you know, just hanging out like a couple of guys do, and uh, I got the feeling that he was kind of annoyed with you. So, what's going on there and how can he make it better? Why do you care? Because I'm your brother and I want you to be happy. Did Romeo put you up to this? No. So you and Romeo were just hanging out at the lockers talking about me? Yeah. Doesn't that sound believable? You know, if Romeo wants to complain, tell him he can do it to my face. Hey. Hi. I, um, I wanted to apologize for the other night. You did something really nice for me and I, well, I didn't behave very well. That's cool. I overreacted. Well, I overreacted to your overreaction. I appreciate that, thanks. <laughs> uh, well, considering you missed our last meal, are you free for one now? Actually, I have to be at uni in an hour, so... Not the toga party? <laughs> no, I've got an evening lecture. But, you know, I can just skip it and get the notes off someone if you want. No, it's fine. You should... you should go. making my documentary on teenage mating rituals. And in my observations, I couldn't help but notice that Le Boyfriend hasn't been around in a while. Yeah, so? So, have you guys had another fight or something? <laughs> Just because a boyfriend and a girlfriend don't hang out every minute of the day doesn't mean they're automatically fighting Dex. Okay, so, uh, you just on a break then? No. You've dumped him? What? Or would you say he's on hold until you've checked out all the talent at uni? No, and you know what? Even if I did have a problem, you'd be the last person I would talk to about it. But you would talk to me, wouldn't you? Look, we're fine, we're chilled, just do you mind? I'm trying to... Okay. But if everything is fine, then why isn't he over here enjoying said rituals of adolescent mating? Not listening, reading. Tense. I have never seen Romeo that accurate before. I think it's because of Indy. Why? What's happened? She told me everything was fine, but her body language is telling a different story. Hey, Romeo, what's with you and the new guy? Nothing. Oh, right, so you always pick fights over nothing, do you? Okay, fine. Well, I might go talk to him myself, see what he has to say. Yeah, fine, he's one of the Braxton brothers. Yeah, well, I worked that much out myself. His brother smashed a bottle over Miles' head last night. Is Miles okay? Yeah, he's fine. Now, Casey's brothers are threatening Miles, trying to scare him into not laying assault charges. That is really full on. Yeah. 
So as far as I'm concerned, Casey Braxton gets whatever he deserves. Well, you're pretty wound up about it. Yeah, well, they're jerks, a lot of them. Yeah, but are you sure that's all it is? What do you mean? Well, you said yourself that things have been a bit weird with Indy lately. I admitted I hadn't seen much of it lately. Yeah, well, no one's going to blame you if you feel a bit left out. If your girlfriend doesn't have time for you. No, I've been busy too. Yeah, doing schoolwork you've been over a million times before. Okay, fine, but it's just as much my fault as it is hers. I guess I should probably just stop being so stubborn and give her a call. Yeah, yeah, that might be a good idea before things turn into World War Three. Or worse, she breaks up with me for some brainiac uni student named Jorge McDorkdorf. Oh, come on, McDorkdorf, let's go get some lunch. Okay. Double chocolate brownies with pecans. Hi, what a surprise. Yeah, I know you finished your line Thursday, so I took a chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said I'm, I'm kind of busy. Yeah, right, since when are you too busy for brownies? <laughs> this is my study group. Nick, Dave, Maria, Sanjay. Guys, this is Romeo. Hey. hey. Uh, sorry, um, I should probably just leave you to it. Uh, no, look, why don't you, why don't you stay? Um, we, we won't be too long, and plus I don't want these brownies to go to waste. Okay. okay. Have a seat. <laughs> so, where were we? We were just talking about the micro lecture. Yeah, I still didn't get that. I mean, I was fine until Professor Ajia started going on about cost curves. <laughs> hey, dude, when did you get here? Uh, uh, just now. Want to see some of these movies up there? <laughs> oh, okay, Mr. Microeconomics. What's your opinion then? If you don't turn to page 135. <laughs> sure. Possible. So, as you can see from the graph here, anti social. So what you're saying is that essentially all people are selfish and that the decisions they make are based on desire and self-interest. It's the core principle of homo economicus. Well, Here we go. Check this out. Yeah, great. Dude, you're not even watching. Oh, well. Is it a wildlife documentary? Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't see anything living in that shot. Oh, but there is a sociological study I've been working on. Fashion bankers, on the other hand. Can you two keep it down, please? It's not from the benevolence of the butcher, the brewer, or the baker that we expect our dinner, but from their regard to their own interests. It's not to do with you and the new guy, anyway. What new guy? The one you nearly decked in the corridor this morning? What's your problem with him? No, no problem. Is it true his brothers bashed up a guy on Wilson's beach because he surfed on their turf? You don't surf on turf. Oh, here it is. This is classic. You know what, I'm out of here. Are you going to say goodbye to Indy? She won't even know I'm gone. <laughs> okay. Hi, Indy. Hi. Welcome home. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be back. I think I will go and do some work. See you later. So, what happened last night? You kind of left without saying goodbye. Well, I didn't think you'd notice, and you didn't. Well, maybe that's because I was working. Might have been because you were busy ignoring me, too. I wasn't ignoring you, Romeo. I was in the middle of a study session. You mean more showing off to do? What are you talking about? Just admit it. You're keeping me in my place in front of all your new uni friends. <laughs> that is not true. You're right. Why are you being so immature? Well, I am only in year 12 after all. What do you expect? You know what? i got to go to school. Hey. Do you know where Romeo is? He's not picking up his phone. He's in detention. What? Yeah, he lost it in class and Miles kind of snapped. In Miles' class? Yeah, I know. Weird, hey? And what's even weirder is how he blew up at that Casey kid. It happened yesterday, too. Didn't he tell you? Oh, Indy, I'm sorry. I'm sure he meant to. Yeah, don't worry about it. I don't know what's going on with him lately. Yeah, I know. It wasn't like this last year. Are you saying it's my fault? No. No, not at all. I'm just saying that this year's really hard for him. You know, he's really full on for you, and he doesn't know where he stands. But you guys will work it out.
with me. That's cool. So how was your day? It was okay, I suppose. Anything interesting happen? Yeah. Really, because I heard that you got a detention for fighting with the new guy, the one that I just saw you laughing and joking with, like he was your new best friend. Are you spying on me now? No. Ruby told me because she's worried about you and I'm worried about you too. Something's going on and I don't know what it is. Well, is it me? Am I the one who's making you act out? Is that what you think this is? No, I, I don't know what it is, but I'm trying. You don't know what it's like being back there. Even for a couple of days, it's, it sucks without you. Well, it's not gonna be like that forever. I know, but then I come over last night to see you and it's all freaky and weird and... And what? I don't know, I, I feel like maybe I might've been left behind. It's not gonna happen. You don't know that. I do, I don't wanna go anywhere without you. It was gonna be hard, we knew that, but we just, we have to suck it up and get through it so we can be together. Do you still want that? Of course I do, you loser. It's not you, it's just... It's just hard, you know. I miss you. Casey's in my year at school. You were right to go in when you did it instead of them. Oh, you reckon? <laughs> hey, look, um, good to meet you, but I, I better head. I'll catch you guys later. Okay. Yeah, see ya. Okay, well, that's, um, this is the... Hi! Oh, hi! Oh, hi. Hello. Uh, hey, Dexter's not with you guys, is he? Negative. Oh, he hasn't come home from school today. I saw him in class. I haven't seen him all day. Have you tried calling his mobile? Oh, he left his mobile at home. It's been ringing all day. He didn't say anything to you about some plans he might have had, did he? Uh, no. No, he didn't. Well, you know, I wouldn't worry about it. You know how he is. He's probably lost track of time filming the grass growing or something equally as ridiculous. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, I hope you two are hungry. Marilyn has cooked up an absolute feast. I know, it smells wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Romeo got his real strong. He's got an hour before he has to go to work. So you only got to meet him. <laughs> How did you guess? Um, Indy, uh, before you go, um, I really don't mind if you borrow my clothes, but could you look after them? I mean, this stain would be a lot easier to get out if you just washed it straight away. Marilyn, I didn't borrow that top. Pretty sure it's not Sid's size. <laughs> Honestly, Marilyn, if I, I didn't wear that. Well, must have been the stain fairy then. <laughs> if it was me, I would have told you. Oh, look, Indy, it's not that I don't trust you. It's just, well, it's a bit of a mystery, that's all. It's okay, just forget it. Well, let me at least give you a lift into town. Really? Because we kind of have to go, like, right no, now. No, no, I'm ready when you are. Let's okay. go, okay? And I know it sounds dorky, but Paul said that the wine club is actually kind of fun. Well, trashy, but fun. And the med students go. No one knows that the med students are party animals. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. What's happening at school? Just the usual. Yeah, I'm like what? Well, Casey and I surfed the break off Wilson's yesterday. Really? Isn't that dangerous? I don't know if you know where the takeoff zone is. And you want to be on a rising tide with the southeast of Sorry, you lost me. I'm still perfecting the art of standing up. You should take me out again soon. What about tomorrow after school? I've got lectures, but what about the day off? I'm working. I miss you, you know. Me too. I should get back. Already? Well, I can meet you at my place after I finish, if you want. Okay, I guess I have to take what I can get. See ya. Bye. It is hot. Yeah, no, I know. It's a um, it's an Alex Nori design. You know, she launched her own label at the age of 21. Pretty impressive, huh? Well, you're impressive. I mean, you have so much going on, yet you hand in awesome work. <laughs> well, it's a lot easier to concentrate on everything now that it's sort of with the baby. 
Yeah, I still don't get that. I mean, I thought Dad and Marilyn couldn't adopt the baby. Well, they can after seven years, and until then, I'm just going to give them full guardianship. Oh. Pretty cool, huh? So now I can just concentrate on all the other distractions in my life. Are you still getting morning sickness? No, it's, uh, it's not that. It's all the gorgeous guys at uni, and don't pretend that you haven't noticed. Is it? A few. You know, I thought being pregnant would make me completely not interested, but my body is just in complete overdrive, which is great, given that no sane guy is going to look at me twice. They might. Yeah, I'm sure a huge round belly is a massive turn-on. Um, can we talk about something else? Sure. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. No, it's just everyone at uni is always talking and thinking about... Sex. Oh, exactly. So imagine how I feel. You know, at least you have a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Who you never see. Sorry, is that why you're getting so weird about it? I'm not being weird. It's just... Even if I did see him, we haven't exactly gone there yet. So you're just as frustrated as me. That's not funny. <laughs> It's a little bit funny. Stop it. It it's is. Funny. It's a bit, I'm sorry, but it's just... It's not... Well, I might give up and go home. It doesn't look like Romeo's going to turn up. Well, have you tried calling him? I saw him at work today. Yeah, he finished an hour ago, though. I messaged him, but I was going to reply. Yeah? I guess I've been stood up. Oh, no, he wouldn't do that. Well, then he's forgotten, which isn't much better. So much for making an effort. Oh, we can't say that he hasn't made an effort lately. Can't I? Well, yeah, I mean, like, cooking you dinner and he went all the way to the farm to surprise you. Oh, so it's my fault that he's forgotten me then. No, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that maybe you shouldn't be so angry with him. W wouldn't you be? Yeah, but I'd also be upset and disappointed. I am those things! OK, it's just that you sound a little bit more annoyed than anything else. Well, I guess it's just, it's like you said, I'm, I'm frustrated, but not just physically. I shouldn't be this hard to see my boyfriend, and to be honest, when we do see each other, it's not the same as it used to be. Yeah, but not all couples go through rough patches. It's, it's normal. And what am I supposed to do? I don't, I don't want to keep going like this. Well, you, well, you can't work it out. I've tried. We've, we've both tried. Well. You know, maybe it's time that you let him go. Indy. <laughs> hey. Hi. I'm so sorry about yesterday. It's OK. I know how crazy things can get. Who are they? Just some new, new friends. Are you going to get changed? I can't. i got to get back to school. But we arranged to do this. I mean, I skipped a lecture to see you. I'm sorry. I... I got detention. I shouldn't even be here now, but your phone was off. We'll have to do it later. What? Well, I just feel like I haven't seen you for weeks. And whose fault is that? I mean, you're either studying or working or joining the abseiling club at uni. Well, I'm sorry I'm not spending my time doing useful activities like detention. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. I just... I know. I've, I've been really busy. Oh, that's cool. I mean... <sighs> you're doing all these you know, new and interesting things, and I'm... I'm stuck. You know, I've been thinking we can't keep going on like this. I feel like maybe we're drifting apart. So what do you want to do? Well, I think we need to talk. I mean, there's no point doing what we're doing unless we're moving forward. So, well, we can't talk about this now, but can you come over to my house later tonight? OK. I should probably get back to school. OK. I'll see you later. It's going to be lots of fun, Indy. You should really come along. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. It's just uh, got something planned. Well, I think it's a miracle. And with Dex away as well, I finally have the place to myself. You know, Deb, Marilyn's having a girls' night. Why don't you have a boys' night out as well? No, no, I, I'm having a boys' night right here on that couch with my name on it. Yeah, it's just I've kind of I've invited Romeo around. Well... 
Okay, well, maybe you can get him to bring some DVDs or something on his way. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just, um, we haven't seen each other in a, in a really long time, so... Okay, if I was going to have a pizza, I'll have a look in the freezer and see if there's enough for the three of us. Okay. Well, don't hold your breath. I might not last the weekend. I'm dead to you. Cuffed inside my headspace. And you said. To survive the night Now there is something Hiding my heart And there is something Hiding my heart For you Okay, tell me more about this Angus guy Okay, well he's He's really cute And we get along great And then, you know, he asked me out on a date Which is awesome, I think Yeah, of course it's awesome I know, but come on, don't you think that it's just a little bit weird that a guy is interested in a pregnant woman? No. No, I don't think that at all. Although, I've never really been good at picking the good guys from the bad guys. Are we talking about anyone in particular? Well, if you're not the only one who got asked out on a date tonight, Casey Braxton asked me out earlier. Do you like him? Oh, he's a, he's a really nice guy, but, um... No, Romeo warned me off him. Well, it's probably because of his family, you know, I hear they're pretty rough. Yeah, I think there's more to it than that. Such as? No, he wouldn't say. But why don't you just ask him? It's not like the guy can give you a warning without a proper reason. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. In fact, I'm gonna go get changed, I'll walk you home, and I'll go ask him now. Oh, actually, I don't think tonight's a good night. Oh, it's not too late, is it? No, but... Indy's kind of planned a special night for the two of them. How special? Like, extremely special, like... Romeo's first night special. Oh, um... Don't look too upset, you can just see him later. Anyway, thank you for the hot chocolate. I am gonna go. Yeah. We don't hold your breath What are you doing here? I was just out walking and uh, thinking and stuff. I just wanted to see how you were. Well, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? You know, just all this stuff with Casey today. I guess you can see what I meant this morning, the way you went off. Casey's okay. Why do you have such a problem with me seeing him anyway? It's none of your business. And just so you know, he came over today and he was very sweet and apologetic. In fact, he always seems pretty together when you're not around, so maybe it's you that's the problem. I'm just trying to look out for you. Well, I don't need you looking out for me like some stupid little sister. Haven't you got your own girlfriend to worry about or is your own relationship just so perfect that you have time to manage mine as well? You're right. You probably are a better judge of character than me. I can't even work my own head out. If you want to be with Casey, if that's what you want, you should go for it. I don't want to be with Casey, you idiot. I can't be with the person that I want to be with. Why not? Because he's you. <laughs> <laughs> 